Good evening and welcome to Studio 1105. I'm Julia Murphy. And I'm Kennedy McKnight. The tour began in 1993 with just a few homes participating, but it has grown to include 60 homes on North 8th and 9th Street. The homes are decorated with life-size Santas, angels, toys, carousel horses, and Christmas-themed figures. The Victorian Front Porch Christmas Tour has been voted one of the Southeast's top tourism events and has been featured in Better Homes and Gardens and Southern Living. The event is a self-directed driving tour. This tour begins on North 8th Street and 2nd Avenue and includes over 10 blocks. Admission to this production is free. Is free. For an entertainment list, please visit www.opalikavictorianfrontporchtour.com. The Auburn Christmas Parade is back again. It will be held on Thursday, December 8th at 5 p.m. in downtown Auburn. The Opelika Parade will be held on Saturday, December 10th from 10 to 11 a.m. Do you know the most famous reindeer of all? Join the Opelika Theater Company for the production of Dashing Through the Snow. Show dates are December 8th at 7 p.m., December 9th at 8 p.m., and December 10th at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Tickets are $12, and for more information, visit facebook.com slash Opelika Theater Co. Executive sous chef Brandon Burleson will assist children in assembling and decorating a gingerbread house. The class includes all materials, refreshment, and the completed gingerbread house to take home. Immediately following the class, children are invited to gather around the hotel's gingerbread village to listen to classic holiday stories during a story time with Santa. Gingerbread class is $35 per child. Coming up, you'll hear from Grace Reynolds and Keith Campbell with everything happening around the globe. You're watching Eagle Eye TV, Channel 6. I hope that you've been able to learn a strong work ethic surrounded by character, integrity, perseverance, so that when your one second comes, you'll be prepared for it. Chris Davis. 45, there goes Davis. Your one second, our one second is now. And our lives have been guided by the principles of one of the greatest academic institutions in the country, Auburn University. This is a place where it only takes a second to imagine your future. Grasp a new concept in class. Inspire a child's curiosity. Discover a real world solution. Seize an unexpected opportunity. This is where you gain the preparation, confidence, and determination to succeed. This is Auburn. Hey guys, I'm Grace Reynolds. And I'm Keith Gamble, and this is Auburn Global Holiday Edition. On Auburn Global, we are taking you around the world to show you how different countries celebrate the holidays. The warm weather does not stop the celebrations in Argentina. Christmas decorating can begin as early as November. Many people in Argentina are Catholic and they also celebrate Advent. Most decorations are similar to the United States, however, there are a few exceptions. In Argentina, any tree may be considered a Christmas tree, not just the traditional fir tree. Also, houses are beautifully decorated with lights and wreaths of green, gold, red, and white flowers. The main Christmas celebrations take place on Christmas Eve. Many Catholics will go to a mass in the late afternoon. The main meal is eaten during the evening of Christmas Eve, often about 10 or 11 p.m., and at midnight there will be the sound of lots of fireworks. Shuvo, that means Merry Christmas in Bengali. Heading overseas to Bangladesh, where December 25th is a public holiday for Christmas. Even though only 0.3% of the population are Christian, Badadin, or the Big Day, is still celebrated. In big towns and cities, shops and hotels will have Western-style Christmas decorations, like fake snow and artificial Christmas trees with lots of lights. A way of decorating buildings for different festive occasions in Bangladesh are Nishan. These are strings made of hundreds of small pink paper triangles. Another type of traditional song from Bangladesh, which is also sung at Christmas in churches and homes, is the kirtan. In Bengali Christian culture, the kirtan is performed with a singer who leads the song while everyone else follows. 
The song starts off slowly but gets faster and faster. It is done with people in a circle and the leader standing in the middle. So when it starts, you walk around slowly the circle, but by the end, you're dancing or running around. Following Christian services, especially in rural areas, it's traditional that everyone has Christmas dinner together at the church. This is called the Preeti Boj or Prang Boj, which means love feast. The meal often includes dishes like vegetable curries served with rice and vegetables. For most children in the Netherlands, the most important day during the holiday season is December 5th, when Sinterklaas or St. Nicholas brings them their presents. St. Nicholas's Day is on December 6th, but in the Netherlands, the ma major celebrations are held on December 5th. The name Santa Claus comes from the name Sinterklaas. It all starts on the second Saturday of November or the first Saturday after November 11th when Sinterklaas travels to a city or town in the Netherlands. Dutch tradition says that St. Nicholas lives in Madrid, Spain, and chooses a different harbor to arrive in Holland each year so that as many children as possible get a chance to see him. Sinterklaas travels with his servants called Zwer Piten, or Black Peters, when Sinterklaas and the Black Peters come ashore from the steamboat, all of the local church bells ring in celebration. Sinterklaas, dressed in his red robes, leads a procession through the town riding a white horse. Every town in the Netherlands has a few Sinterklaas helpers dressed the same as Sinterklaas who help give the presents out. Christmas is not a national holiday in Japan, so schools and businesses are normally open on December 25th. Parties are often held for children with games and dancing. Japanese Christmas cake is a sponge cake decorated with trees, flowers, and a figure of Santa Claus. In Japan, Santa is known as Santa San. Another Japanese gift bringer is Hot H Hoti Sho, a Japanese god of good fortune from Buddhism and not exactly related to Christmas. The Japanese New Year is more like a traditional Western Christmas. New Year is the period where families get together, have a special meal, pray, and send greeting cards. New Year is celebrated over five days from December 31st to January 4th and is a very busy time. In Kenya, Christmas is a time when families try and be with one another. Many people travel from big cities back to the villages where the main part of their family might live. Although there are more whole big families now living in cities so they don't have to travel. This is often the only time large families will see each other all year. People try to be home for Christmas Eve so they can help with the Christmas preparations. Houses and churches are often decorated with colorful balloons, ribbons, paper decorations, flowers, and green leaves. For a Christmas tree, some people will have a cypress tree. In cities and large towns, stores can have fake snow outside them, and there might be a Santa in the stores as well. Children in Latvia believe that Santa Claus brings their presents. The presents are usually put under the Christmas tree. The presents are opened on, on during the on the evening of Christmas Eve or on Christmas Day. Often the presents are secretly put under the tree when people are not around, such as when people are at church. Sometimes to get a present, you have to recite a short poem while standing next to the Christmas tree. Before Christmas, children learn to say poems by heart. You might also get a present by singing, playing a musical instrument, or doing a dance. Lavia also claims to be the home of the first Christmas tree. The first documented use of an evergreen tree at Christmas and New Year celebrations is in Town Square of Riga, the capital of Latvia, in the year 1510. Lots of people think the first Christmas tree uh, came from Germany, but the first recorded one is in Latvia. That's all for Auburn Global this semester. Up next, we'll hear from Sam and Lauren with more. I'm Grace Reynolds. And I'm Keith Gamble. We hope you enjoyed flying around the world with us. We will see you on the other side of the globe. So, I just moved in with this family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born, and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, uh -oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake. Shopping, get it done early, 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 get it done early,
you can businesses. At Thea Bay and Conmigo, I spent with the most stylish shoppers and their favorite brands. Our wrap will be held at 7 p.m. consisting of five from each vendor. Food and drinks will also be served. Vendors include Henry Dry Goods, Oliver Henry, Men by Martha, Forever September, Starlight Stars, Reagan, and many more. The Bar and Hewley Row will be hosting a trade show from November 25th until December 18th. The normal hours of operation are Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. Central Time. Santa will be on site from the, on December 3rd, 10th, and the 17th from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Christmas tree sales consist of premium braid Fraser fur ranging from tabletop sizes to 10 feet. Eli TV took to the concourse to ask students to share what their favorite holiday traditions are as we head into the holiday season. With Thanksgiving break over and students back on campus for the final stretch of the fall 2016 semester, there is no doubt that Auburn's campus and its students are getting into the Christmas spirit. Today, we decided to go out and ask students what their favorite holiday tradition is as we head into the holiday season. What is your favorite Christmas tradition, Gavin? My favorite Christmas tradition is uh, on Christmas Eve, my mom always lets us open one present and she acts like we never know what it is, but it's always pajama pants and it's fun to just, you know, everyone put on a new pair of pants and I guess go to bed and wait for Santa. My favorite Christmas tradition is probably baking cookies with my family on Christmas Eve. My favorite Christmas tradition is going to Minnesota because I get to be with my grandparents and aunts and uncles and I get to play in the snow which gives it more of a Christmas feel. Uh, my favorite Christmas tradition is when, uh, in my neighborhood, everyone decorates their house, like all out gets it. And uh, then we all jump into our cars and drive through the neighborhood and pick out what house uh, did the best decoration job, decorating job. As students study hard on campus for the next two weeks, the excitement of going home for the holidays will surely grow even more. Reporting for Eagle Eye News, this has been Ellie McCoy. It's time to God bring students know how to celebrate the holidays. The annual Cookie Walk is a fundraiser sponsored by We Help Coalition to benefit Habitat for Humanity. This year's Cookie Walk is scheduled for Saturday, December 3rd from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. For the past 20 years, a coalition of local churches have come together to sponsor a Cookie Walk to raise funds for building a Habitat for Humanity home. Several years ago, they added a fun twist by including cookies called Celebrities Favorites, which were extremely popular. Make time in your busy holiday schedule to join us for this fun-natured Santa hunt where you will hike the preserve looking for animals and this elusive visitor in red. After, you will return to the amphitheater where we will gather for a cup of hot cocoa and some warm fire. Admission to the Ho 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 hike is $3 per person. Donations of canned goods will be accepted for the East Alabama Food Bank and donators will receive a homemade goodie. No pre-registration is required. That's all for Studio 1105 this semester. Thank you for watching and keeping up to date with Auburn and Global News. From all of us at Eagle Eye, we wish you a happy holidays. Thanks for joining us and War Eagle! Eagle.